names and symbols. So we're going to do this in one point perspective. So first pick a point and throw and draw kind of wavy lines, not super wavy, and you're going to draw an even number of those. Make sure that it's an even number. So I've draw, drawn an even number of lines here because you want it to be a pattern all the way around. So an AB pattern, A, and then on all of your A spaces will be your name. And when you draw your name, you want to make sure that it goes from the very top of your line to the bottom and so that it will shrink down when it goes um, closer to the middle of your uh, vortex looking thing here. So I'm going to draw my name and see how I draw the letters all the way from the top to the bottom of that curved line. That's why you don't want your curved line to be too curvy, more of a wavy line. And you can use all capital letters if you'd like for this. Might make it a little bit easier to get your name all the way to the top and the bottom of those lines. And it's amazing how your name does shrink as you start from the outside and work your way in. So as you can see, I've got a pattern here of names and negative spaces. Now we're going to turn the letters of those names into block letters. And to do that, we're just going to fill in the negative spaces of our names. So here, I'm just filling in that R space, and it's like a little D. And then for, um, for the next space, like the O's, see how I'm just going to fill in here with smaller O's on the inside to make it into block letters. And I could go around and do that for all of my O's all at once, or all of my D's all at once. It makes it a little easier for me, but you might want to do it your whole name all at once and then go name to name. So I'm just going to go through here now and do all of my letters into block letters. Okay, so now I'm doing my M. So I'm just going to make an M under the first M. Okay, and now for my K, see how I just make the same shape underneath of it? And because the letter is connected to the top and bottom of the lines, it just creates that. N is a little tricky. Um, I'll need to erase the inside of that N to create it. And now I'm just going to go around and I'm going to show you again. Um, I'm just going to fast forward here and so that you can see how I block out all of my letters. Uh, and I'm able to do this very easily because my letters touch the top and bottom of the lines. black sharpie just like this okay once that's all traced in black sharpie you're going to come up with a list and this is going to be a list of attributes a list of qualities of yourself now there's a difference between qualities and uh, likes so for example you can like books but you are not book you are not very book but you could be a learner or a reader so you are a very good reader, but you cannot be a very good book. This is my list of qualities of myself, uh, something that I could be very good or very bad at. So these are things that I'm very good at. I'm a very good teacher, a very good artist, a very good mom, I'm a very good learner, or I could put a very good student, um, a leader, I'm peaceful, loving. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take these abstract ideas and we're going to create symbols for these abstract ideas. So as you can see here, I'm creating just a few simple ideas, and because this is a piece of uh, scrap paper or a sketch, this is where you can make your mistakes. 
So there might be things that you like, and then there might be the ones where it's like, no, that's not really coming together the way I want it. So I can erase it, I can cross it out, I can draw something else entirely. So this one um, I'm drawing because uh, I'm drawing babies because I just recently became a mom. Uh, I don't like that kind of book. I like this kind of book, so I'm going to draw a different kind of book. But as you can see, I'm taking these more abstract qualities and I'm coming up with more concrete symbols for them. What you're going to do is you're going to take those symbols and each negative space, the space that doesn't have the name, is going to have a different symbol. They're going to be large towards the edge of the paper and getting smaller as they go down to that single point perspective, just like a one point perspective. So you're going to pencil it out first and then you'll trace them in Sharpie. So as you can see here, I'm just penciling out my um, symbol and they're just sort of floating in this space, getting smaller as they go closer to that single point. So it looks like it's headed down a vortex. And you're going to do that for all of the different spaces. So here I've got peaceful in this space, and then in the next space I'll put a different symbol. So now that I've got that uh, done, I'm going to go ahead and trace uh, this symbol in Sharpie. You could go ahead and um, trace it in Sharpie. The first time as you uh, get each symbol done, or you could do all pencil and then all Sharpie. Either way, it's up to you. So what we're going to do is then trace this all in Sharpie. Then once I have filled up each space with a different symbol and traced those symbols in Sharpie and erased all of my pencil marks, it's time for me to color in. Now look here, what I've done here is the colors I've actually colored on the outside. So I've chosen the appropriate color for that symbol, like yellow for gold green, red for red apple, blue for peace or peacefulness. Um, but instead of coloring in the symbol, you're actually going to color in the negative space. You're going to color in the space around it, leaving the symbol the negative space. And it really makes that symbol pop. It really makes this look cool. And then the last step is to color the background of the name. And you're going to color it, of course, a color that you have not yet chosen. Um, you don't want to necessarily do black because your letters are already in black, but you can if you want. Um, I'm going to choose purple. That's because of the options that are still available. I just prefer purple. So I am going to do uh, purple. These are the options that are still, that are not an option for me. What's left here um, are those colors. So then I'm just going to fill in the background of my name with the purple, and that will be for all uh, five of my name spaces. And here is the final product. So as you can see, I have left the symbols in my name white as a negative space and filled in the background color with the appropriate color choice.